You can't think always so positive. There were eight people who gave their word to keep whoever went up against Sarah. The fact that people are even thinking about wavering on that means to me there are people that don't care about their word in this game. Am I missing the boat here on something oh. really big? You talk, I'm not gonna talk. I'm still thinking. Am I hearing from you guys that you're thinking about where your vote's gonna go? Well, your silence tells me something. Let's head to the living room and talk with the house guest. Hello, everyone. Hi. Hi. Maggie, there's a chance that your partner, Eric, will be returning to the Big Brother house tonight. Yeah. What would it be like to have him back? Oh, I don't know what to say. It would be the most awesome thing ever. I would love that. Of course, that's what I'm expecting. We'll see. <laughs> Rachel, everyone has seen you campaigning for Kaser to come back. If either Michael or Kaser walk through the door tonight, how would that change things in the house? Oh, gosh. Anything could happen, Julie. It would be very interesting. I'd love to see Kaser or Michael or Eric. They're all great. Thank you, Rachel. James? Yes? You won the power veto three times. But by saving yourself from eviction, your girlfriend Sarah may be going home tonight. How hard of a decision was it for you to use the veto on yourself? Um, it's something that we talked about, um, obviously, from the moment we got nominated. And um, the way things were going in the house, um, I feel like I, it'd be better for me to stay an extra week than for her to stay an extra week just because, I don't know, I think I kind of <laughs> scare a few people <laughs> with me being around here. So <laughs> stay an extra week, let them lose some sleep, you know, and um, <laughs> she can go back and see her family. Thank you, James. Mm. Bo. Yes. Your team lost the sweet eating food competition <laughs> called Conveyor Belt. Don't remind me. And as a result, you're on a diet of PB&J. Again, yes. What would you rather do, a week on PB&J or a week of eating nothing but dessert? I'd rather eat a whole week of dessert because um, at least peanut butter and jelly, you know, you can at least, like, what, like, make... I don't know. I don't know. You're going with the dessert, though. I'd rather have dessert because there's more sweets. I like, I'm a sweet person. I like sweets. Okay. Well, thank you, Bo. Thank you, everyone. And I'll see you all in a little while. Okay. Coming up, which evicted house guest does America want to send back into the Big Brother house? We'll talk with Michael, Eric, and Kaser and find out who will be walking through the front door live. But first, it is eviction night. Nominees Sarah and Yvette cannot vote. Neither can Howie, the current HOH. All votes are cast in private in the diary room. Let's check in with Bo, April, and Janelle as they prepare to vote. I don't really want to keep Yvette in the house. She's been um, probably my worst enemy, and she talks a lot of crap about me. Yvette gets riled up really, really easily, and I just want it to be calm in here and be relaxing. I want to keep Yvette, obviously, because she's my partner. I love her to death. Sarah is part of James, so if I can't, cut off the head of the snake, which would be James, then you have to cut off the tail of the snake, which is Sarah. Sarah doesn't pose a threat at all to me, other than the fact that she's working with James and they're a couple, and um, I don't really trust James. Sarah is um, the epitome of annoying. She's very, uh, just naive in, in the sense that she's very, very young, and um, she's just annoying. I vote to get Sarah. Welcome back to Big Brother 6. It's time to talk with the current head of household, Howie, who is alone in the HOH bedroom. Thanks. Hi, Howie. Hi, Julie. Now, remember, your fellow housemates cannot hear this conversation, so please say what's on your mind. Now, what? Howie, it was a tough week for you. You put James and Sarah on the block only to have James win the veto and remove himself. Do you regret nominating him for eviction? Well, I, I told James, you know, we were going to fight it out in this house together. And when he turned on me, I mean, I felt bad doing it to him. But, I mean, he came at me first, just, you know, indirectly. And, and I told him when I put him up, I said, this is going to come back to bite me. And uh, so far, half of it's coming true. We'll see uh, later tonight, you know, if it, if, it is a, if it was a bad move. Well, James has insisted that he wasn't going to put you and Rachel on the chopping block. Do you believe him? Um, no. Not at all. I don't believe him at all. And America is 
hopefully uh, I'm looking at the outside for men like America knows what's going on. I, I believe that James maybe wasn't coming at me right away, but it was going to be quicker than sooner, and I wanted to take a shot at him before he got me, and hopefully we'll, we'll see what turns out, Julie. Now, Howie, which house guest would you like to see come back tonight, and why? Well, I mean, Kaser was, you know, he was the brains around here. I mean, I, I'm having headaches lately trying to think for myself, and if he can come back and do it for me, that'd be great. <laughs> and then, you know, Michael was... He caused a lot of problems around here and not, you know, really nothing in my harm's way. So if he can come back and stir this place up again and be an ally with me and Rachel and Janie and everybody else, it'd be great. And uh, same time, Eric coming back, you know, him and James didn't leave on the best of terms. If he can come back and uh, kind of protect me from James, so to speak, <laughs> you know, bring Cappy back. And finally, what surprised you most about being head of household? Well, I thought, you know, my most, you know, you know, being a potential, you know, get, getting put up throughout the season would, would be stressful. But and I'm like, you win HOH, you come here, and, you, and it's great. You got your own bathroom and everything. And but, I mean, the, the first couple of nights I got in this room, the most stressful since I've been here. And they're, they're, they got worse each night, and we'll, we'll see. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Howie. And you can head back downstairs to the living room. Thanks, Julie. Sure. In just a few moments, Sarah or Yvette will be evicted. For now, let's return to the diary room and hear from James, Rachel, Jennifer, and Maggie. There's a lot of gray right now. Strategically, people see Yvette as a bigger threat in the game than they do Sarah. Yvette and I haven't always gotten along since day one. She's trouble. She's a loose cannon. She's a wild card. So that would be a good reason for me to let her go. If Eric comes back, Yvette's going to just cling to him like Saran Yvette and Eric and Maggie will probably be a pretty strong team. People are definitely um, doing this to Sarah in order to keep me from having any sort of friend here. I know that getting rid of Sarah will weaken James as a player, and that's ultimately what I'm going for. I have a lot of good reasons why I should get rid of Sarah and why I should get rid of Yvette. Even at this very moment, I still don't know who I'm going for. How about to Yvette? Yvette be evicted tonight? Sarah, the retail manager from Chicago, or Yvette, the waitress from Miami Beach? An eviction for Sarah or Yvette would mean that their hopes of winning Big Brother 6 are over. But for Sarah, there's more at stake. By leaving the house, she would be leaving her boyfriend James behind. Let's go back to the living room and talk with the two nominees. Sarah, Yvette, you now have a chance to say some final words to your fellow housemates. Sarah, what would you like to say? Um, I just want to, uh, I'll start off by just thanking everybody who, um, made me a part of this, and, um, we all know that this is a game, and I completely understand why I'm here right now, so no hard feelings towards anyone in this house. You all are friends. You know, some I, I didn't think were going to be friends, and, and probably will be long-lasting friends, and, of course, I got to know James even more than I... Knew him before we came in this house, and I'm sure we'll be together.